In this video, we'll learn how to find a work referenced in the Ancient Christian Commentary on Scripture series. Like most commentaries on Scripture, ACC follows a book of the Bible verse by verse, or sometimes passage by passage, as opposed to skipping around the book, exploring different subjects or themes. At the beginning of each set of verses discussed, there is a brief overview summarizing the ideas of the Church Fathers on this particular passage. This is followed by specific quotes from Church Fathers on those verses. The work where the quote comes from is referenced at the end of the quoted passage. We can see that this quote concerning Genesis 1-1 comes from a work entitled Homilies on Genesis 1-1. The author, Origen, is listed right after this summary heading. Your professor may be fine with you quoting Origen in ACC, but let's say you want to learn more about what Origen has to say about Genesis. Or maybe you want to see this quote in its context in order to more fully understand Origen's views on creation. To do that, we need to follow the footnote after the quotation. We are directed to FC 71 47. So what is FC 71 47? Near the beginning of every volume of ACC, there is a key for all of the abbreviations that are referenced in that volume. Here it is, right after the general introduction. The sources that ACC references are either individual books or a series of books. A series is indicated by a dash after the date. This means that the book series Fathers of the Church began in 1947 and was still in publication at the time this volume of ACC was printed. The ACC footnotes refer its readers to over 250 sources. There is no need to be familiar with all of them but there are several highly regarded series in patristics that you'll see cited frequently. Use the patristics research guide to learn more about these series, as well as how to find them in Bracket Library and online. The 71 refers to volume 71 in the Fathers of the Church series, and the 47 indicates the page number where this quotation can be found. Now we have enough information to track this down and read the quote in context. I'm going to show you a few ways to do this. The first is a fun shortcut that might not work 100% of the time, but when it does work, it is really fast. Since ACC has already given us the volume number in a series, volume 71, let's use that to our advantage when we choose our search words. In the main search box here, type SE colon fathers of the church and the number 71. Make sure your spelling is correct because it's really unforgiving. The SE is special database code for series. And here are the exact matches. If that doesn't work, leave off the SE colon. Put the title of the series inside quotation marks and then type the volume number. Then add the name of the church father as well. I'm going to limit this to books because I didn't do that on the front end. Here it is. Looking at our results, we can also see uh, that it picked up this record because it has the phrase Fathers of the Church, Origin, and here is a 71, although it's not the 71 that we're looking for. You may need to add more specific search terms if too many items like this are showing up in your results. So we found volume 71 from the series. Now we need to find page 47. This is available in print and as an ebook. Open the ebook, find the chapter that contains your page number, and there it is. If an ACC footnote directs you to a standalone book, not a book in a series, search for it as you would any other book, either by title of the work or if needed title and author. Please be aware that ancient Christian commentary on scripture does not always direct you to English translations. For example, this citation for Ephraim the Syrian actually leads to a six-volume series in Greek, Syriac, and Latin from the 18th century that very few libraries in the world have as part of their collection. Um, thanks, ACC. Bracket Library ultimately has an English translation of this work in the Fathers of the Church series. It just took a little digging. If you run into something rare like this, start with the assumption that Bracket Library does probably have this work by the Church Father, even if it's not in the exact source that ACC is referencing. Don't give up. Just try searching by the title of the work and the Church Father as previously demonstrated. 
and it will probably turn out that an English translation is available in one of the more popular series. Now, if it's taking you longer than 30 minutes to just track down a citation, sometimes these things are just tough. Please email me and we'll figure it out together.